Hello everybody, I'm Miss Bessie Be a Blessing. This is a reading for my earth signs. If you are a Virgo, Taurus, a Capricorn individual, this reading is for you. And today is July the 15th, 2021. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment. If you'd like your own personal reading with me, you can call me at 347-227-5723. <laughs> Thank you guys. Um, please don't ignore the noise from outside. I think somebody's working on something, but I'm still going to do your reading. I hope you can hear me fine. With that being said, first and foremost, I feel as though you are definitely planting seeds for prosperity and growth. I feel as though your creativity is very high. There could be some type of temptation going on, so be careful of that. If you are overindulging in some things, try to get a grip on that as well. I feel as though you're definitely um, weighing your options in regard to something, and you're definitely feeling like you have a lot of things that's definitely weighing on your mind. you got some things you need to work through. You may be telling somebody right the fuck off and tell them where they can go and where they can get off at. The Temperance card is a Sagittarius card all day, every day. I feel like things will definitely be out of for you. Expect some huge changes for you to take place with the World card. You see, I'm saying that... There's some clarity and truth that's definitely coming in. You could be dealing with the fire sign here, but I see that you're very creative. You're definitely manifesting a lot of great things coming to your life. You have a lot of competitions around you, people that may be coming up against you. Some of you may feel like you missed out on an opportunity, but look at it as a blessing. Keep planting seeds for prosperity and growth. Just keep it moving because I see you being very, very victorious in regard to something. You, you, you concentrate more on your stability and build that firm foundation and just don't stop. You have some wishes that's going to be fulfilled with the Nine of Cups. And the full card lets me know you're not afraid to jump out and do something new and exciting. And that's a wonderful thing. You got to keep it moving no matter what. Be careful the offers that come towards you because not all offers are good for you, especially with this moon card coming up behind it. Could be some type of deception behind it or um, the person who's making your offer could definitely have some type of ulterior motive. I feel like your intuition is very much so on point and I do see you receiving uh, well, doing some of the opportunity is going to open up for you here. That's an offer. Somebody's coming in with a good offer. This is a good offer right here. But I'm saying these offers over here. And this also talks about things that you may want to manifest as well. Write your vision. Make it plain with that moon card right there. Be careful. We'll be dealing with the cancer. But this offer right here is a great offer because it's an ace of cups. That means you're going to um, be progressing. A whole lot in regard to some things. Um, some of y'all may need to get your throat chakra checked because all of a sudden it feels like you can't speak. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? You know, what's really going on? Um, yes, I do see a whole lot of money coming in towards you as well as you could be at a crossroads of your life. Make sure that you um, take time and make sure you make go the right way. You know, you have a certain path you're supposed to be on and make sure you try to stay your course. All right, I feel like you're very passionate about something. This could be another fire sign, but I think this could be a fire sign card. But I feel this is you. You're very passionate about the things that you do. And you definitely, people have their eye on you. Just stand in your strength, trust and believe in yourself, and keep things moving. Even when it feels like you're carrying a heavy load, remember, stand in your strength, and trust and believe in yourself. You're not alone. You have your ancestors, your reaches, and your guides, and they're there to protect you. Talk to them. They're there to help you. They will not step into your life and help you if you don't ask for the help. All right, you guys. Well, I'm supposed to be a blessing. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment. This is for Virgo, Tauruses, and Capricorns. Y'all have a truly blessed day. Thank you.